Majestic views and incredible wildlife provided the magnificent backdrop for this trip of wide open fishing. Fishing the salmon capital of the world during the longest days of the year guarantee that we get into plenty of silvers and kings. I brought along my son Logan for this Father's Day trip and Tom Nelson, who I've fished with before and considered to be a good friend. Tom really knows these waters and these fish and it shows in his enthusiasm. I'm Lee Horsley, and this is Western Sport Fishing. <laughs> Get him out of his hole, Lee! Stick it, Lee! The job loves double the cup, pal. Ass! <laughs> buddy! <laughs> Little buddy! Nicely done, gentlemen. <laughs> Come on, baby, there come to Papa. Looks like he's all there. The fishermen are not the only ones after these salmon. Many other predators come here as well. And where predators meet, there's bound to be a clash. Man, he just... oh, you... oh, excuse baby. me. Don't worry about the sea lion. Oh, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That was my fish, you chump. So here's our dirty downrigger trip. You got your uh, your basic 15 pound downrigger ball with a fin. Right. And a flasher with nothing behind it. Right. So we're gonna let the downrigger do the work yeah. of hauling that flasher rather than tying that flasher straight onto our gear. I see. Now we're gonna have flasher down there and our bait up above that flasher. Gotcha. So we get all the benefits of the flasher, but we don't have to experience the drag of that flasher before right. we clean our fish. Yeah. We have herring. Okay, is that like fresh dead or? Lightly killed. Yeah. Lightly killed herring, yeah. Lightly killed. All right. This area at the mouth of the Little White Salmon River in Washington is called Drano Lake and opens up at the west end to the Columbia River near the Bonneville Reservoir and just across from the town of Hood River. Several hatcheries in the area help guarantee that this remains a thriving fishery. The Little White Salmon Hatchery alone releases nearly 10 million young salmon into the river. The lake is named after William Drano, who built the lumber flume which still stands here overlooking the lake to this day. Lee and Rob get an early start, hitting the boat ramp before dawn. Though they are not shielded from the elements in their 24-foot aluminum staby craft, as soon as the fish start biting, things warm up. Now this is an old school Chinook, bro. Old Ready? school, yeah. This is the kind I grew up catching. <laughs> Check that out, man. Turn, turn around oh, the other way there. Wow. Wow. This is a time to slow down and enjoy the outdoors away from the rush of Los Angeles and, and reminisce about father-son fishing trips that we've taken in the past. Of course, Logan is a little bigger now and I don't have to bait his hook anymore. Hey, we're hooked up on a circle hook. Okay. He was, he was shake, shaking a little bit at, the, at first. Hard, steady pull. Yeah. Yeah, you got another wing. There he is. Whoa! Ling a dingster. Look at that. On a jigster. Look okay. at that. Yeah, that was a pound. Yeah. He jumped Boom. all over. Did you measure him, Lee? Yeah. Like he's just over. He's on this one. Check him out. Oh, well. He'll, he'll be okay. Okay, he's got to be 35, and he's way over. <laughs> <laughs> he's way over. <laughs> That is a monster, up. Tom. He's a dandy, bud. <laughs> Big old bullhead, huh? That buddy? is fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna slip this jig out of his mouth and let him go, Lee. What do you think, bud? <clears throat> I think so. Okay, buddy. It's a good fight. All right, buddy. Today, I've left Hollywood for the Northwest to fish off the Oregon coast. For this two-day excursion, we experience the whole gamut of weather conditions, from beautiful sunny afternoons to turbulent seas and overcast skies. I'm joined by Bob Amon of Amon Marine, an avid fisherman who grew up in these waters. The ocean salmon are hot, and a few unexpected species show up as well. So join me, Lee Horsley, 
right now for Western Sport Fishing. On the first day, I met Captain Bob and Guide Walter at the Newport Marina, which is located under the historic Newport Bridge. Bob Amon owns and sells Glacier Bay Catacorans and has provided a luxurious ride for the trip. Newport is a quiet little ocean town compared to its Southern California counterpart of the same name. It has seen serious growth over the past several years afterward and has actually become one of the bigger seaside towns on the Oregon coast. We are blessed with favorable seas this first day out and it really doesn't feel like a typical Oregon coast day. There he is, Lee Bob Amon. Pleasure. Nice to meet very, you. Very, very. Salty Walty. Nice to meet you. Salty Walty.